Today's video, we are looking at the ZTE Rapido LTE. Uh, this is a noteworthy phone because I think to date this is the first 4G LTE phone that Straight Talk has put out for uh, the Verizon calling area or the CDMA calling area. And as you can see down here, you got LTE V. Um, so if you've been waiting for that uh, Verizon LTE phone, then the ZTE Rapido is the device because I don't think there's been one to date. Um, now the rest of the specs on this particular phone are quite good. The, this phone retails for $179.99, which I think is a is a good price for this phone. Uh, you do get four and a, you do get a four and a half inch uh, Gorilla Glass screen. Android 4.1, which is uh, you know, it's a little bit dated, I'll say, because we're, I think most of these phones are coming in with 4.3, but that's not a big deal, I don't think. Uh, it's got a 1.2 gig dual core processor, and another impressive thing is the fact that it's got an 8 megapixel camera with a 1 megapixel front camera. Which again, I think there's only like three phones that they've put out all within the last few months that have uh, 8 megapixel cameras. So I think this is an excellent device for the money. In fact, if I were in the market for a phone and I had Verizon um, coverage, uh, Verizon LTE coverage, um, then I think this would probably be my personal choice because this is a fairly attractive phone with great features and it's uh, well under $200. Now, for starters, as the box told us, this screen is four and a half inches measure, uh, measure diagonally. So we'll go ahead and measure that. And there we have four and a half. Um, and because of that, this phone is what I would consider just about the perfect sized phone. Uh, we have two and a half, a little bit more than two and a half in width, and approximately. Uh, five and a quarter in height. The thickness, we have uh, point, uh, 0.42. So the size is right of what I would call that perfect, perfectly sized phone. Here it is with the playing card. So you can see it's uh, about two and a half inches or so taller than a playing card and about the same width. Now another thing I like about this phone is I really like the design on this phone because it looks quite sophisticated. It's not cheap looking um, at all. You have this uh, black chrome look uh, bezel that goes around the entire phone. And this is not a cheap looking trim by any means. It looks quite nice. Of course you got the three button layout at the bottom of the screen which are backlit. And like uh, I think all or a lot of the ZTEs, I think it has a sensor to kind of know when to turn those on and, and off. Uh, again, there's your front facing one megapixel camera. Uh, you have the uh, volume buttons up on the uh, upper left. On the top, you have your typical uh, headphone jack, which is the, the iPod type variety. And there's your power slash lock button. There's your rear camera, 8 megapixels. You do get an LED flash. And then uh, lastly, the charge port on this one is on, on the bottom left hand side. And again, remember this one has um, Gorilla Glass for that added durability, which is actually quite rare to find uh, Gorilla Glass on, on these type ZTE phones particular at this price point so I think that's what makes this phone the Gorilla Glass and the 4G LTE for Verizon is what I think make this phone worth it um, now as far as the uh, Google uh, suite of apps it's all pretty standard um, you have the Google Play Store which again which is just like any other straight talk is fully open to you um, both paid and uh, free apps are wide open for you to download. Um, you have Google Maps, of course. 
There it is. And you do get that 1.2 gig quad core processor, so running the map on this phone is is nice because it zooms in really well as well as rotate and all that stuff you can do with the map. It's very it's a very responsive device. And another thing I like about the screen is the fact that it's very slick. So it's easy to to do this kind of thing or swipe or whatever. I find that some of the uh, on some of the plastic uh, phones, particularly the ZTEs, for some reason, on the plastic screens, I find that there's a bit of a resistance when you do something like that. But on this phone, the, because it's glass, it's very slick and it, and it's very responsive on this particular phone. So continuing with the Google items, of course, you got your Gmail, Chrome, and all that other good stuff that. Um, Google comes with or the Android comes with. Uh, lastly, we'll show you uh, YouTube. Okay, so here's uh, YouTube and we have uh, the new trailer for the uh, Terminator movie going on. And I will tell you that the screen quality is great on this phone uh, as far as the brightness and crispness of it. Video looks great in person. It doesn't translate well, uh, well to this video, but Watching this in person, the video looks great. The sound quality is pretty good. Here's the speaker. So it's a fairly nicely sized speaker. Uh, it's not the best uh, sound quality I've ever heard, but it is pretty good. It's not cheap sounding at all. So overall, the video experience I'll say on this phone is good. No issues whatsoever with it. Uh, which I think kind of wraps this video up, brings me to um, kind of the summary of this thing. Um, I will say that I think that this is a great little phone for the price. Uh, you can't go wrong with this phone if you have, um, you know, the Verizon calling, LTE calling area where you live. Um, I will say that this is probably one of the better straight talks uh, in the last batch. Um, I think this is about the fifth or sixth phone that I've reviewed in the last month and a half. And this is probably the best of the bunch, I think. I really like the design of the phone. I like the responsiveness of the phone. It is LTE, which is always great. Um, so overall, I think this is an excellent value. At $179.99, you really can't go wrong with this uh, particular model. The uh, ZTE Rapido LTE.